when I first saw this, probably when you first saw this, I was kind of blown away by what I was seeing people do because it was like, holy crap, one of our, our favorites here, Runway ML, released something called Motion Brush. And what Motion Brush is, is it allows you to paint on an image, the image you upload, and have only that section of the image move. And you can actually direct the motion of the image that you want. The guy who runs uh, Runway ML released a version of this where he showed uh, clouds moving over a, a landscape and the light on the landscape changed in the direction as he moved it. I was like, that is really incredible. There is, <laughs> there is a small underlying here, which is that when you get under the hood and you want to do the stuff that we want to do, I think we are still a few steps away. In the past, you would submit an image to Runway or Pika or any one of these image to video services, and it tries to guess what in the scene should be moving, how it should be moving, should the mm -hmm. camera be moving, should the subjects be moving, etc. So now here you can really isolate those portions of the scene. To your point, there was some really powerful demos of seeing light change through the clouds. Also, there was one where someone painted the clouds and a little bit of like the a lake and yeah. you could see the reflection in the water change. And so when you see that already, you're going, oh wow, they're already accounting for the way light would bounce through a glass or the way a reflection in a mirror or water. This must be so powerful. And then when you paint with the tool sometimes, it understands, oh, this portion of the image is supposed to move and change. But sometimes it seems to lose context of what that even is. Sometimes it'll go, okay, we'll make it move. We'll make it melt like taffy. You yeah. got left on a dashboard. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. Suddenly somebody is melting everywhere. But for the still very early phase that we're in with video and AI, I am still so impressed. But I, I can't wait to see what you did with it, Gavin, because you have an ability to break things in a way that is glorious. <laughs> this only works with images. You have to upload an image, a still image, and it allows you to... You, you paint over a certain section of the screen with the motion brush, and then you can control the horizontal movement of what you want, the vertical movement, and then the perspective, meaning in or out, right? So you can each time kind of choose, and you're kind of making a guess, hoping you do it right. So let's start with, I, I took a picture of um, Sam Altman, and I took the very famous picture of Sam testifying at court, and what you can tell what I tried to do here was, I wanted, I, I just chose the arm, and what I would hope was gonna happen is that the arm would kind of go down in a natural way, and you can tell it is not doing that. It's almost as if he's like finding out the board's decision <laughs> yeah, two weeks in real ago. Time. He's in just real finding time. out yeah. in real time. And the other thing that's kind of disappointing about this is it doesn't, I would hope that in some ways it would keep the, the actual rest of the picture kind of locked in, but you can see at the end of this, like Sam's face is not his face anymore, right? Like it's, it's done that thing that oftentimes, that AI video sometimes does where it changes the actual subject matter. Um, so I wanted to try a second thing, which was trying to get him to turn his head to a certain direction, like try to do a really big one. So that's the, the next Sam Altman one. Well, his head goes in a different direction, that's for sure. And, and if you look at the light, the light is really interesting, this one, because the light does travel in the right way that a head should travel, right? But instantly, it's not Sam Altman. Like instantly, right. like right away, it's moved into somebody else and it's not able to, and then it changes the person so I took a picture of you and a friend of yours, and I decided to do the same thing. You know, again, I got both of your heads to turn in that direction. It's fine. It's yeah, like, and, does fine. And we both turn into Sam Altman. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> exactly, exactly. The coherence yeah. is not there. We live in this bubble, right? And this bubble is like, oh my God, AI tools, they're incredible. They're going to take over from yeah. for people. I want to go and make like a three minute video with these, like a, like a story, right? And like... The hardest freaking thing, even to do this, is just to get enough usable takes that, that make sense that I can actually cut something together. It is not easy. Okay, so then, of course, we move into Hot Dog City. So I wanted to kind of start Hot Dog City, and, and this is where I wanted to see, okay, what can I do with animation sort of style? So if you look at a hot dog running away, I basically created uh, an animation looking still from Dolly 3. I, I said, like, give me a hot dog running away from an explosion. And it, it, if you look at this, it kind of reminds me of those like motion comics. And this mm -hmm. feels like it's a pretty useful use case maybe, right? Because there's a world where I could spend time creating an animation where like I could do this sort of animation style and kind of like create it. Now, if, again, as you look, the hands on the, on the hot dog get screwed up. The hot dog 
isn't running. Its legs aren't no. moving, but it is sort of sliding across the frame. Did you paint on the mushroom cloud as well? And no, I didn't. So it, so just what the it, hot that, dog. Okay. Just the hot dog. So it did that little extra motion on the mushroom cloud on its own. But you're right. It's not animating. It's just sliding, right? And mm-hmm. this is where we get to the point of like, in an ideal world, if I highlight that whole hot dog, you would love the system to understand, oh, he's in a running motion. I will continue him running and I will kind of animate the legs, but it did not get that at all. So that's that. Go to six. So at six, I tried to create a, a, an great. action scene. Right, it's pretty good, right? So it's like this you could see, there was a, Marvel a while ago did this whole thing with their comic books where they digitized them all and each panel they were, you were allowed to like on an iPad zoom in on. This feels like it would kind of fit that world, right? There's a world where you could create a whole animated, maybe not series, but like an animated short using this sort of thing. There's a great game called Freedom Force uh, on PC a while back that used this same sort of thing. Um, So that feels like it's a legitimate use case. It takes a while to get there, but it's pretty good. And then... I tried another one on number seven, Weird Lips Hot Dog. So this was me trying to get the cars to move in the back, and I didn't put anything on the lips whatsoever, Kevin. Looks like this hot dog is really trying to chat. It's blinking, its yes. little hot dog lips are moving about. It's trying to say something, likely either kill me or yes. grill me. I guess they're one and the same, but it wants to be out of this machine <laughs> exactly. and out of its misery. So it again, I, I feel like one of the things about this is like it's so compelling and interesting, but it doesn't feel satisfying. And there's something about that that I think that I, I want it to feel satisfying. And I know this is, again, me pushing forward the, the we've talked about this before, where every time you get something, you want the next thing. But it's not, it yeah. doesn't feel like the thing that I want yet. I'm going to devil's advocate, though, Gav. I, I, I think I understand where you're coming from because one of the problems with the AI space in general is the overhyping of everything. We talk about it every week. Whenever some new white paper comes out, someone screams in all caps, fire your designers, you know, like abandon your pets. Everything is changing. And then when you go and actually use the tools, you find yes. out that outside of a few cherry picked, really yes, beautiful exactly. examples, which are amazing. I'm not taking anything away from that. But by and large, the, I would still say the majority of renders come back underwhelming. And it's not necessarily Runway's fault. I get that they want to paint their, their tool in the best light. It's all of the AI influencers yep. who are really cherry picking a lot of the results so that they look amazing. They look jaw dropping, but with their, they're being dishonest because yes. the, the majority of the interactions with these tools still fall short of something that you would want to put in your short film or feature. They're not saying that it could take hours or days yeah. of rendering a single scene just I think to weeks get even right frames. like to get to get it could take in order to do one of these right so my my whole theory with this is runway motion brush incredibly cool very awesome but it's an interesting look into how the AI tools that are promised are still maybe a ways away 